Hi, it's Dr. Joanna Martin and welcome back to our seven part video course where we're going through the seven big mistakes that people make when it comes to public speaking. Now, these mistakes I see both the seasoned professionals and the newbies make. So make sure that you're taking lots of notes and addressing what it is you're doing in your own business. Now, we're up to mistake number five today. We've covered off a number of mistakes already. Mistake number one was procrastinating and not actually speaking. So get out there and speak. <laughs> number two was not knowing the difference between a good talk and an effective presentation, the kind of presentation that inspires people to take action. Number three was the mistake of having no elegant business model behind your speaking business. Make sure you're not making that one. Number four that we spoke about just recently, and one of the, one of the biggies was not building a community. Thinking that fame was enough, that you, but, but it's really the value of a business, the value that where you can really make a big difference and a big profit is in building a list. Mistake number five is copying or mimicking other speakers. Now this is probably one of the biggest problems that our entire industry has, is that someone will try something or do something new or tell a great story and then before you know it, everyone is doing the same. So one of the toughest things as a speaker is always to be different and to be memorable. Now listen, I don't have a problem with people modeling. I think modeling is a really smart thing to do, but there's a difference between copying and modeling. A good modeler is someone who looks at what a great speaker is doing or, or, or what, uh, what a great anyone is doing, a great business person, a great athlete, looks at what they're doing and then understands why they're doing it. If you can chunk up and see why someone is doing that exact thing, then you, what you can do is you can do it your way. There's a big difference than copying or doing it exactly the same. Because if you do it exactly the same as everyone else, then you're going to end up exactly the same as everyone else. There's no need to rip off what everybody else is doing. The big distinction is to make it your own by understanding why. Now, if it were that simple, why doesn't everybody do it? Well, here's my theory on this. Most speakers who are out there do not educate themselves about what makes a presentation work. Most of them don't understand the key distinctions. Most of them don't understand why they're actually doing what they're doing. They've just seen someone else do it and so they go out and do it as well. If you understand why people are doing things, it becomes really easy to make them your own. Just today, I was consulting with um, a, a speaker whose name you would know, a big name brand speaker around the world. He's very, very successful at what he does. And I was having a look at his presentation, uh, looking at his slideshow, and I thought, b before I actually spoke to him on the phone, I thought, you know what? This guy really knows what he's doing because his slideshow had all of the hallmarks of a great presentation. However, once I got on the phone to him, it became very clear to me that he just copied someone else's um, things and didn't understand why. Now, as we were having a conversation, he's, a, he's an incredible student, this guy. He was sucking out every little bit of information that I was telling him. And as he understood why and the reason why his slideshow was so good, he was then able to make slight adjustments, which I know are going to make the difference of between five and 10% conversions, which for him means tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars every time he talks. So it's a really important distinction to make. Make sure that you can tell, you, you know why something works. Now, this is a big part of why I teach speaker training the way I teach it. I believe that there's too many speaker trainers out there who will tell you, you have to do it this way. This is the one way, the right way, the only way to do it. Do it my way, and if you don't do it my way, then you're gonna fail. Now, it's interesting. In the last six months, I have been to two speaker trainings myself. I go and I learn, I'm a student of learning myself. At these two speaker trainings, they were from two very different individuals. Each one of them told me their exact way of doing a slideshow. And if you don't do it that way, then you're not gonna make sales and you're not going to be a successful speaker. One said this way and the other said that way. One said black, one said white. One said apples, one said oranges. They were in direct contradiction to each other. Both of them make loads of money from stage. So what's the difference between apples and oranges, black and white? The difference is the personality of the person doing it. 
But if for, for the every argument that they were making, if you looked at why they were making the argument, then you could see that either way was right. The question is, what's your unique style? What's your unique way? And therefore, which is going to work for you? Let me give you another example, and this is something that is going to be particularly pertinent for the women, but men, you'll understand this as well. When I was first starting out as a speaker, I only had male role models. I didn't ever come across any great female speakers to model from. And particularly all of the, uh, all of the speakers who are making sales from the platform, which is a big and important part, having an effective sales presentation like that. Um, they were all men. And so when I did it, I was very masculine and commanding and dominating and, uh, you know, uh, let's just say, you know, very, very man-like, which was not very becoming for a young lady like myself. It wasn't until I realized that what the reason why was that people were, you know, being, saying, commanding, go to the back of the room and those sorts of things. Once I understood the reason why, what we were trying to achieve, I then could make it my own in a very feminine way. I could then become a little bit more, um, uh, you know, a little bit more tempting rather than commanding. Because, ladies, if there's one thing I know about men, it's that they don't like being told what to do by anyone, especially a woman. So, a uh, little tip for the ladies, don't be commanding. There's no need to have balls in order to make it big as a speaker. You can have your own feminine power. But that's just one example. There are many, many ways to, to be right when it comes to speaking, as long as you educate yourself as to the why, to the structure behind things. If you understand what's going on in presentations, a couple of levels of abstraction higher than everyone else, you're going to be very, very successful. And if you want to understand those basic principles, the fail-safe things, the things that you can't leave out, then head on over to my website because I've got it all there for you for free. If you want to understand all of this at a higher level of abstraction, to really understand the reason why speakers are doing what they're doing, you want to get yourself a copy of the Shift Presentation Profits Blueprint. In that blueprint, I go into loads of detail and uh, have lots and lots of information about why speakers do what they do on stage. So grab yourself a copy of that and I'll show you exactly how to do that in just a moment. Meanwhile, let me tell you about part number six in our seven part video training series. In part number six, I'm going to be going into probably one of the worst mistakes that speakers make and that is bringing their ego onto the stage. There's no room for you and your ego on a stage, so I'll be sharing, uh, I'll be sharing with you exactly how to be on stage and uh, how to avoid some of the common mistakes that people make in video training number six. So I'll see you in video training number six very soon. Once you've finished your training and you're ready for the next step, make sure that you sign up for our free Shift Speaker Training newsletter and get free access to your very own copy of the Presentation Profits Blueprint absolutely free. I've put together this blueprint to take everything that I know about how to create a successful speaking business and put it in one place. Inside the blueprint, you're going to discover the seven P's for turning your passion into multiple streams of passive income using speaking and the elegant business model. The number one marketing myth that speakers have to ignore if they have even half a chance of succeeding in the industry. The it factor for speakers and how ignoring this means that your speaking career is destined for mediocrity and no one wants that. We'll discover new ways to build your community through video, email and blogging and how that can fast track your speaking success and give you more raving fans than you ever thought possible. We'll also show you why speaking is one of the laziest ways to wealth provided you know how and where to leverage every scrap of effort that you make, as well as much, much more. So, in order to download your very own copy of the Blueprint, take yourself to www.shiftspeakertraining.com slash blueprint. Look for the sign-up form right there on the website. Enter your first name and email address in the box and then click on the button that says Get Instant Free Access. You'll then get a copy of the Blueprint emailed directly to you. You can open it up and in it you will find so much information on how to take your speaking business and make it extraordinary. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video training very soon.